Welcome back to the Charles oh Owen Experience. It's so yes. good to see you, man. Like a racehorse. It's Thanks. been a while. Wow. A formal introduction. I like that. Yep. Oh, yeah. blast. This is too high. Oh, no. Oh, it's, oh, oh blast. Sorry to hear that, mate. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay now that you fixed the, the mic. Hair's looking good, man. The Thanks, hair man. I did, did get the hair transplant. I had too much hair on top, so I asked them if they could just like push it down to the sides and the back, and they were more than happy to you know acquiesce my request so here we are Blast. yeah really really good and you, actually quite cheap as well you had a good time in the u.s and uh, i did have a good time in miami what a fantastic time i had shout uh, out to anthony for letting me drive his car illegally shout although out actually no because i have a i have a provisional license so let me ask you a question am i allowed to drive with someone next to me if i have a provisional they'll have different laws in that country but what about in this country yeah wow that's the laws by which i mostly bike, operate bike. Yep. yeah yeah so that's fine i that's drove around the block yeah that was Great. the highlight of the trip fantastic <laughs> that wasn't the highlight but it was oh. a fact and it was one of the highlights i then had a dream about driving so i'd say i'm pretty good at driving now mate if you were to ask me that's not that right. you did what we'll do next time is we'll rent a car and we'll do the podcast in the car, in the car. and you'll be driving and then we'll yeah yeah and we can like sing and like i'll be really hateable and horrible like that yeah. that english guy moved to america james Corden. The yeah that's the one yeah i can just be so really Guys, not likable what remember you like subscribe youtube spotify do all that Shout out James Buy Gordon. my DVD. Buy DVDs. Yeah. YouTube, spot. You guys have done a good job with Spotify. Remember, top right-hand corner, press three dots, rate it five stars. Do it now. Right now. Subscribe YouTube. Do all that. Right now. Um, James Corden, you had a good time in Miami. Jiu-Jitsu was so, good. Did you, were you training out there? was good. I trained four, five, four times out there. Uh, just open mats, basically, with the fellas. I knew one guy that trained here in SGC. That's just the nickname for the club, eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, he lived in Miami. Uh, submission grappling club <laughs> submission grappling club if you yeah. will so he lived in miami we're also a full-time gp now uh sgc so if you have any medical issues just message me uh <laughs> but we'll anyway. just answer them on the podcast like yeah actually yeah, yeah, yeah. just send in like any really complicated medical issues and we've got you uh but yeah Sick. yeah oh, honestly really good it was good though very nice weather and i feel like that's obvious but the sky was an excellent color have you played RuneScape. G GTA, you, <laughs> GTA Liberty City Stories. Yeah, it's good. I've, Liberty uh, City. It's the old one on PSP, you yeah. know. Oh, PSP. No. Yeah, I think it was only on PSP or maybe it was on other... Anyway, the cover for that, Miami, is pink and that is exactly what the sky looks like oh. every night. It's fucking lovely. Do man. you like GTA? Do you get into that? Uh, yeah, I used to, used to bang that. But, you know, it gets uh, a bit repetitive, doesn't it? Especially if you're not playing online. I feel like online would have been better, but... Online is good. I, I didn't have a long enough wire to connect from the TV to the... To the hub. Wireless now, I don't Yeah, now it's all Bluetooth, isn't it? Mm. Or Wi-Fi, I guess, if you're that way inclined. Mate, let's do some questions about intro. GTA. But what yeah, a great intro. Man, you, you're going to love London. I heard you stayed here for quite a while. Uh, <laughs> how, how are you finding it? <laughs> this is one of the questions. It's <laughs> so funny. What is it? <laughs> Thoughts on the Jewish channels. <laughs> 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 I actually do have some thoughts. What what is, what is the lowdown? Thoughts on the Jewish channels. What what do you know? Oh, yeah, what is what happened? So I, for those who that just look up New York Jewish tunnels, there's a bunch of rabbis in a church and they had some tunnels that got filled in and it turned it just at the situation escalated. It just seems way over the top, you know. I, what are they for? What like are they there for? are lots of flats. Why do you have to build a tunnel? <laughs> I don't understand. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Next question. They are, they are next pretty. Question. They are pretty funny. That was a funny question. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Will you be traveling with Owen ADCC this year? Yes, I'll be in America this year. Uh, I'm going to do a little tour. I want to go to Miami. I want to go to New York. I want to go to Austin, and I'll finish up in Vegas. Wow, you're going to finish. Climax. Climax in Vegas. Great. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're going to have a pretty, the full Vegas experience. Yeah. All right. Here we go. What follow-up do you aim for when going for D. Ashi Harai from seated versus standing? That's a very jiu-jitsu one. Jewish tunnels, man. Jewish tunnels. <laughs> I would look for the, the tunnel between the legs. So, <laughs> I, 
So you try and kick their foot out with your leg. It fails because they put their foot down on the floor. And then if they square up to face you, you'll be able to get your leg inside. And if they don't square up to face you, then you can circle to their back and expose their back. And that is that's how you do response. Yeah, that's, well, that's what I would do. Hopefully that's a, you know, a, a full enough response. Here's a good question. How fast can I, com- how fast can I start competing after I just started jiu-jitsu? Go for it whenever you want. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Actually, no, because like, if, Jumping you, scissors. if you're still going nuts every training session, you're probably going to get injured in comp. For sure. Yeah. So probably wait till you stop going nuts and then go. It's hard to give a timeline, isn't it? Because you're like, how long are you going nuts for? You could stay going nuts forever, right? I would say like, let's Six say like months. 15 sessions. 15 sessions? Yeah, until you're not like completely... Like, 15 hours of, G- of BJJ. Nah, Probably all right. more, let's, mate. Let's say like 50 hours. 50 hours of... 50 of, hours. That's what, how many hours in a week? Let's say training five times a week. Call that seven and a half hours times seven. Seven weeks, seven and a half hours, two months. You could compete. I mean, you're training quite a lot at that stage. It's if, like, you, if you were training five times a week, though. We've yeah. got some kid, Armin, who <clears> trains at ours. He could compete, even though, I mean, he's been training more than that now. But he does show up five days a week, three hours a day, basically. And he's getting very good very quickly. And I imagine he could compete if he wanted to, and he'd do very well. Like, if he competed Great. in the white belt division, I feel like he'd crush people his weight. Nice. Yeah, and he's just, I mean, he's pretty strong for his, like, size and weight, but... He's training with but everyone that's training bigger than him, yeah. every day, three hours a day, and he just started, and that was his full training schedule straight away. It's going to be dependent on how, like, okay, what is your training schedule? Like, let's say if you're training two yeah. times a week, it's like, mate. Also, if you're already, you know, strong Athletic. on that, you can just go and try. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people have been training for ages, and they're still shit, and they still <laughs> compete, so... Don't worry about Should it. Should we just say three months, assuming that you're training, th- you know, three to five times a week within three months, within 12 weeks? Yeah. Yeah. If you're training three to five times a week, I would say. Not less though. If you're training less than that, then maybe wait a little bit. Or yeah. if you don't give a shit, just go and compete. But ta- uh, yeah. And often. There it is. Shout out Mark McQueen. Shout out Jewish Tunnels. You might be wasting it. <laughs> I love them. I would actually really like to find out what was in those tunnels. Like what was life like in the Jewish tunnels? That question just got me, man. I don't know why I found it so funny. <laughs> it's just, it's the correct podcast to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it is the correct yeah. podcast to get a go Jewish on the, tunnels. On the Jewish. the people going. Uh, I, go on. You, is that my me? 10 or 10? You, yeah, you yeah. go, go on. Shot and rehab exercises from a grade three slash five AC t- joint. Uh, perfect. Ask the doctors. Yes. Um, basically, this fella's torn his AC joint. Um, you, mate, I don't know. Eight hours <laughs> sleep, mate. See a physio. Sleep well. Go see a physio. Just get make sure the external rotation of your shoulder is good. Make sure you can internally rotate your shoulder. There's, mate, it, it's hard to answer that on the podcast. Go see a physio. Follow the physio's advice. Make sure you have you can gain back access to full range of motion in your shoulder, and then build strength upon that full range. And then you'll be ready to go back to jiu jitsu. That's I see. That's it. Yeah. What, you- we are doctors, so keep co- keep them coming, guys. <clears throat> keep them coming. Uh, why do you call Owen Jones Young Wesley? Ah. He had a haircut reminiscent of a certain actor, Wesley Snipes, in his uh, youth when he had a blonde trim he fade. Looks, yeah, yeah, Something yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. It, it was just he just looked really sharp, and you know. Only Wesley Snipes could match it. So that's why we called him. I guess Charles called him Wesley. I was just forced to go along with it, actually. Yeah, we so just, it just happened, didn't it? If it, if it like a young Wesley it. Snipes because he's looking slick. Yeah. It was Sharp. Really good. I hope it sticks. Yeah. I hope it does, actually. That'd be great. Yeah. And then no one will know who Wesley Snipes actually is. <laughs> it's just not. It's just, <laughs> yeah, young Google Owen Jones. Wesley Snipes. And young just, Wesley. Yeah. All right, I've got a lot of very jujitsu questions. Go on, that, you, people love that in the podcast. All right, go on, let's start with okay. uh, less, but still jiu-jitsu. Going to comp yeah, yeah. by myself, best way to warm up as can't do rolling warm up. I would say to Good. get like, do like some sprints and get, you know, break a bit of wind, get like kind of tired and then, you know, settle down a bit and just stay warm until your matches are mm. going. And yeah, I guess, what do we do? Plyos? bit of core yeah. all of that kind of stuff flyers core make sure the body's moving yeah you know, i was talking to big has earlier shout out big has losby uh he likes it it's tough because he's 
that this fella's by himself, but he says he likes to do like a full sparring round, two, two, like four rounds, get break a big sweat and then go out and compete. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I guess if the fella's by himself, you want to raise, you raise your core temperature big time. I think that's yeah. key, isn't it? So you don't, because yeah. the first, the first time you sweat and the first time that you get a lot of that, you know, wind into the, to the lungs, it's always mm. quite surprising and uncomfortable. But if you can break that feeling, I think you're going to feel better. Yeah, if you're fully warm, it's nice basically mm. and also I feel like your lungs you know does your diaphragm need to warm up like any other muscle i would say yeah so, that, so like but you're gonna you're gonna hit the diaphragm and like the breath work but i guess by get, really raising the core temperature and you're like yeah, get, yeah. Get, get, getting like a good sweat gun i think that's really useful because yeah. then you don't get that big surprise when it starts happening oh fuck. oh no now i'm, I'm really tired. tired i'm breathing really heavy now what the fuck but do you know what i mean yeah. sometimes you're like oh fuck now i'm fucking yeah. tired I'm really instantly. <laughs> I'm jelly, mate. Now I'm fucked. I love jelly. Uh, right, any so, sort of so jelly, for the like fella, chocolate mousse. Uh, deep, t- deep tier pliers will be good, but then again, raise the temp. Raise the temp, mate. Break raise a sweat. Temp. Like get actually tired where you're like, fuck, I might be too tired for my comp and then just stop. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Go on, give us another one. Initial mount stabilization without upper body grips. Low posture slash locked legs or upright pinning wrists. I would say you might start with a low posture mm. and cross legs like bridging into them. And then once you get their hands off your hips, you can posture up. If their hands are like directly on your hips, I think the first thing you should do is try and address the hands. And then, yeah, Push them away. you can like underhook or you can try and pull them off and use your head position to stop them bridging you. Because if you put your hands on the floor and they've got your, their hands on your hips, you're probably going to get sent away. And then you try to just sit up ASAP, I would say as well. So if you just get your hands off the floor, if they're on the floor, take them off the floor and sit all the way up. So your weight is, you know, above your legs, then you can use your hands to pull their hands free. Mm. And then you're not going to get kipped off so easily. Negromont was showing me some good mount details the other day. But like he crosses his legs and lifts your butt off the floor. Yeah. Yeah, And staying really low. So like sometimes, you know, I know this said you didn't have upper body grips, but like if you say if you're trying to climb, stay really low first and then drive forward. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. well, that's yeah. A, sometimes a mistake. If you come up too high and you can just get sent a lot easier, or they sometimes get the yeah. to come through. I think it's easier sometimes to pull people's arms to their head if you go higher up. Mm. So the way you walk their arm up is you do like a crawl with your arm and then you wait and move your body up and then do a crawl and move your body up and do a crawl. You've got to be patient in that process to get yeah. there. But obviously you can't crawl all the way because you've got no power at the end range. So you've got to crawl and then move. Oh. So that's the key. That's how you do a little crawl and move and then crawl. I haven't been doing that. Yeah. I'm just trying to get that's the... Also in RGA, I feel like the mat is so slippery. You can't walk someone's elbow up. because You just, your fingertips slide. True. Like it makes a big difference. I know I keep going on about it, but... But Jesus Christ, it's like if you were grappling in space, it would be very different. Same if you're grappling on like gravel in terms of friction and same if you're grappling no, on it's true. I've been trying icy to w- mats. Trying to work my sport passing, which has been going well, but it, when it's slippery, it is, it is well, really yeah, hard. You can't drive in enough to, put pre- to tire people out. Yeah. So it's not as good. That's why just body lock seems to work the best there. Mm. Right. If you were to make the perfect warrior, what percentage of Cap mm. and Osbeck would be in? Cap is you. Uh, the perfect warrior. Jewish tunnels. I would probably... <coughs> probably start in the Jewish tunnels. I'd probably put Caps Boxing, Christian Osbeck's uncle's fashion style. <laughs> and yeah, for like, probably like 100% of either. <laughs> and, and then... <laughs> and then that's it. And then I'd fill the rest up with, yeah, Jewish tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love them. <laughs> <laughs> what are your so, thoughts on the Jewish tunnels? So good. <laughs> like we, we forgot to discuss that. <laughs> it just kills me every time. <laughs> Ways to build athletic legs for jiu-jitsu, e.g. best exercises. There are no best exercises for jiu-jitsu. Deep tier plyos are going to be good. Light tier plyos are going to be good. Outside of that, a structured strength program where you're going to be going through full range of motion on a squat pattern, a hinge pattern, some single leg work, and making sure you learn how to hinge correctly, you can squat correctly, and that is it. And you move not only move in an up and down fashion, you also move in a side to side fashion, some lateral movements too, so you can hit the adductors. That is going to be key. I didn't know the question. Huh? 
I didn't hear the question. Best exercise. Basically, what are the best exercises? Leg exercises for BJJ. Ah, okay. Yep, I love those. Uh, I told my pec hasn't been the same. Any rehab lifts, mate? Get to physio. Get to a good physio, and then you're gonna want to do again. Restore the range of motion. Get it strong. Leave a comment on a random podcast's YouTube and uh, ask them. He also said, "Shout out Guam, whatever that means." I love that country. Is it country? Yeah. I'm going to bang out one more. Thoughts on zone two cardio to supplement BJJ and SNC or just do more BJJ? I mean, we talked about this last time. I'd yeah, like I to hear your baby. thoughts about this. So what's that? Zone two, zone cardi- two. Zone two cardio. What is that? D- like the stuff we do. Yeah. Uh, the best way to supplement that for BJJ or just do more BJJ? Because hmm. obviously he wants to improve his fitness for jiu-jitsu. Again, it's going to be subjective to how fit he is. Let's just assume he's like a relatively fit fella and he wants to improve his fitness. What do you think you should do? Yeah. It's tough, really. It's not very different. I feel like it's more fun doing jiu-jitsu and it's easier to work hard doing jiu-jitsu, but then it's also easier to get injured doing jiu-jitsu. So maybe if you're very tired or you're training a lot already so that you're at the limit, if you start pushing in jiu-jitsu to like, where I'm actually training my cardio, then you're probably going to get injured. So it might be better to hop on the bike. But if Bam. you're not doing that many sessions, then I think you can push really hard in jiu-jitsu and probably not get injured, even though you're maybe not necessarily using perfect technique or whatever. Yeah, let's say you're training like three, four times a week. You could do like, okay, at least two of those sessions, we're going to invest time yeah. and stand up rounds and push the pace. Yeah, or just, yeah, just try really hard. Just, I mean, not exactly spazzing, but you can just like do everything as hard and fast as you can without spazzing yeah i'll train your cardio fair play yeah and then for cardio training uh again you want to have a good aerobic base so you want to have sessions where you're working from like 20 to 60 minutes non-stop at like a seven to eight out of ten effort and then you could also add in some interval work where you're working at like eight to ten out of ten efforts for like you know 30 seconds up to 90 seconds with some off periods as well yeah that could be like a, a 30 seconds on 30 seconds off or a yeah, a minute on, a minute off, or a minute on, 90 seconds off, or 90 seconds on, one minute off. Yeah. Yep. I feel like I, I like I the ones where there's a sprint involved. Sprinting's good, yeah. Like sprint and then a rest of, not complete rest, but a little bit of rest. I find it actually does help a little yeah. bit, like quite a bit. I haven't done it for a while, and my, like, I have been this guy, <sighs> a lot more at oh, jiu-jitsu. It's yeah, so it's much nicer breathing through the mouth. Though, yeah, I would say just have a good mix. I, I really like the... <laughs> so much nicer. I really like the, the, <gasps> the slightly longer intervals, which I offer in my program, 29 pounds a month. Check out the links below. Um, nice. Anywhere between, you know, That's two good. to five minutes, even up to 10 minute interval stuff where you're going like working for that period of time, 90 seconds, two minutes rest for like three to 10 rounds fucking good that shit's it good it's yeah. pretty tiring though if you do it before jiu-jitsu sometimes your legs are just whoa jellied up if you do that before jiu-jitsu it's gonna be tough it's gonna yeah. be tooth man cool uh i've got one for you charles it's from man that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> do you love me loads or very, very loads, loads. What, a, what a great question uh people are gonna rem- remain anonymous here so yeah i guess if I answer Shout it, it wouldn't, Osbeck, be, yeah. it, it wouldn't be anonymous. Who is the most overrated ADCC level grappler and why is it Cyborg? Well, I didn't see the end of the question before I started reading it. And I'm sorry, mate. Uh, who is the most overrated AD? So we just want to- It's got to be gone, right? We just want to pick someone and just shit talk them basically. And would that be okay? Because it's a question someone asked. I don't know. I don't think so. You know, no one about t- no one's tunnels? No one's- <laughs> not enough people are talking about that no one no one springs to mind to be honest and if they did it'd be like well you have someone who springs to mind don't nah you? i had someone but they died <laughs> okay oh that big fella who are you talking about <laughs> orlando yeah. sanchez I loved yeah i loved him though he was really good he's just a big bowling ball wasn't he yeah. that works he was a big fella you want to bowl people over yeah. Nah, I wouldn't say he's overrated. I don't know. Predictions for Euro trial winners this year. Ooh. I'd love to see. Whoa. All right, we're going with... 66. I'm, I have to give it to Shashinsky in 77. Again, I know I keep backing him, but I believe he'll win this time. 
I see that happening. I believe he'll win. Okay, and then who else? 66. 66. Uh, Yo, Jozinho, is he going to compete? I hope ooh, he does. Ooh, come really on, Jozinho. Well, I'll go with Jozinho or Cam Donnelly then. And we'll move on now to the 88 division. Taylor. I want to see my guy Taylor win that. Taylor. Isn't there some other people as well who are going to be there who are good? Is there? There are, surely. For sure. We just can't think of him right now. Yeah, there's quite a few people from England Stefan actually, that will come over. And Stefan's probably going to win it. There's a lot of people from England that are probably going to win it, but only one will win it. Is Livesey going to do 88? No, maybe, I can't see maybe. it. Yeah. I think it would suit him, to be honest, to go back, go down to 88 but and try to wrestle people. But then it's probably a bit too leg locky for him still. Like People are just going to pull guard and maybe just, you know, he might get a negative because the judges are pretty He'll hate that. on it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, he'll probably hate that. Okay, and 99. then 99, probably just... Oh, 77... Uh, yeah, Davis said. Asari might be a contender as well. Sure. Yeah. yeah. What about uh, Christian Osbeck? What about Crispy? Yeah, he'll be doing 77, right? Yeah, so... Obviously, he's going to win. I think he actually could if he, if he concentrated and, you know, really worked on just standing up and fighting off body locks from standing. That would probably be that would probably be a good path for him because you know if you if you spar him for the first time it's tricky to get him down with the judo and not get like you know foot swept or something if you haven't watched his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or by, the Satoshi by, issue by his D- yeah that DVD was really good actually. Watched the Satoshi one and it kind of shut down that whole game. Uh, Mate, you've got about five minutes left. Fuck yeah! <laughs> All right, I got to I got to. We need. Speak that's why quicker. I tried to rush them out of here earlier. We got yeah. we got to get out of here soon. Yeah. I'd like a yogurt too one day. Give us five, ten minutes. Right, okay. Right. There was. Uh, so anyway, yeah, 99 kgs. I don't know. Probably Livesey if he's going to compete in that. And plus 100, we got Mark fucking McQueen. I want to see him win that. Lightning McQueen's going to take it. God, I want to see him win that. fucking love cars. All right. Lightning McQueen. You go. got one? What are your thoughts on Dante Leon's Westside Barbell style of training? Cheers, boys. We're men, we're not boys. Cheers, boys. Um, definitely yeah, shout out Dante Leon. He is an exceptional athlete. I think whatever kind of training he's going to involve himself with, he's going to lift properly and he's going to do well with because he's very, very good at jiu-jitsu. Remember, lifting weights, uh, if you're already very good at jiu-jitsu, lifting weights is going to help you get stronger. And because you're already very good, it's going to help you express that strength well. Um, I've seen some of the way he lifts weight. He lifts weights very well for his squats, deadlifts, etc. His accessory work is... A, isn't fantastic, although I haven't seen full videos, so I can't see, but I've seen, I've seen quite a bit of half repping, but it seems to be working for him. He is doing exceptionally well, so fair play to him. It works for him. That's the main thing. Right. If you're trying to play half butterfly, but op is just crushing your face with their forearm instead of cross-facing, what do you do? Uh, I feel like I would probably grab their leg with two hands and put my butterfly hook in and try and yeah and then if they switch to a cross face i would switch to a choy bar Ooh. and if you put a butterfly hook in and it's kind of crushed to the side then i would first pull my knee out and then i'll go to the choy bar and that would be what i would do it depends though obviously it's you know it's all very fiddly, isn't it? We need to think of a technique tip tomorrow. Technique oh, tip. We want to do the, the redo of a Wolverine guard, didn't we? We've been saying that for a bit. Oh, yeah. A false read. We will. I've got some new details on it, actually, that's going to bump up the value. The uh, Big Dave video is doing very well. <laughs> it did very it's probably well. mostly the Met Police, though, isn't it? Liking it. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. We finally got an ID on him. It did. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. False read tomorrow. All right. Go on. Uh, bottle of water. That's one for the Americans. Quickest key, go, go, key go, concepts go. for side to side passing. So I think really with the side to side passing, you're either looking to go knee on belly or north south or leg or leg drag. North south cock and mouth. Shout out J Bell. Shout out J Bell. That might be. Oh, BJ Fanatics are coming, so they'll probably do one with uh, Jay Bell as well, actually. That's game, I'd like to see that. He's already got clips of him doing it in sparring, north, south, cocking mouth. Big fan of Jay Bell. Shout out. Love Let's that. get him on the pod. Oh, that'd be great. He can wear his, right, he can wear his VTs. 
You right, mate? <laughs> 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 He'd be a great guest. He would, yeah. All right. Uh, Go on. So, yeah, side, side passes. So, all right. So, you want to combine entries to leg drags. Uh, you know, fainting, obviously, left and right. That's kind of the part of the side to side. You do want to try to pass to both sides as well because otherwise it becomes too easy even if you're doing, you know, good, fast, whatever movements. Uh, you want to have follow-ups to all the common, you know, re-pummels and all that kind of stuff. You want to have some bolo counters to people just shooting their legs up and hoping for the best. Uh, you got to have good leg escapes as well because obviously when you're up like that, you you might not necessarily have the head position to stop them entering your legs. So you need, you know, you need to have good escapes. You probably get entered on more as you're practicing it. And what was it? North, South. Yeah. Watch, uh, watch our boy Jake. Let's impress more involved. Limmy, as people call him now. Man like Limmy. He's blown up. He is blown up, man. He's got he really big and He must be making dosh as well. His, his outliers yeah. thing is, is doing well. He's got lots yeah. of members on them. Fair play. Yeah, good. I'm Love happy him. for him. I always thought his videos were way too well produced for how many views they got. <clears throat> and I knew he was going to blow. That's why I shouted him out. He, like a little snake. <laughs> <laughs> we have a code from him. Shout. And he, he reminded us a while ago. I think we have a code that people can use. No, it was just for us. Oh, okay. Oh, and we, sh- and we yeah, shared we it. Shared. That was it. Yeah. And he was like, it's okay, guys. I'll just, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just change. undo that. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. use that code. Yeah. Yeah. Genuinely though. If you do, like we're in big trouble. Right. Okay. Last one quickly. Oh, fuck it. Go on then. Wait. Man. Monday, Friday, Saturday. Do I need a rest day in between? I would suggest yes. I think if you're doing weights, <laughs> I would just take a, a day of rest in between of weights. However, you could do, you know, let's say you go, oh God. That, you do your I, swimming. I, I fucked that up, didn't I? Do your swimming. Monday, Friday, Saturday. I wouldn't, you can, you can do it. Depends what your split is. So let, let, let's say you do full body on Monday and Friday. Let's say you do full body on Monday and then you do upper body on Friday and then lower body on Saturday. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. You've got your line back ready. Did you just, oh, okay. Did it's you hear that? <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> Basically, perfect. Sick. Split it up. Four, if, you, if you were to do that, do <laughs> upper bo- full body on Monday, upper body Friday, and legs on Saturday, if I was going to do that. That's what I'd do. Anyway, yeah. we need to finish that. You got to go. That line bike's ringing. Much like you're yeah, calling to me, man. It's weird. It does great that. to see you. It's so good it's to have you back, so man. Good, man. Just like I, a racehorse. I'll see yeah, you tomorrow. Just like Guys, a remember, horse. like, subscribe, YouTube, Spotify. Buy my DVD. That. Buy my DVD. DVD. You, buy my DVDs. You, 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 I'm going to do another DVD yeah. soon. Maybe maybe write in what do you want me to make it on. Because be although good. I've already decided, YouTube, I'd still like YouTube. some. Yeah, on the YouTube comment, write what you want my DVD to be on. And then maybe I'll do it on that. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, probably not. That'll be sick. Uh, get my strength program. Check out links below. It's all happening. Bye. Man, it really did. See you later. Sick.